Hi there, this is Shoe Renner on the Shoe Renner Drawing Channel and I've shown you how to draw this if you look at the link here somewhere and uh, now I'm going to show you how to paint it just like this. Let's not talk about it, let's do it. So if you want to know how to draw this then uh, click up here or there or somewhere I'm going to put a link up here which shows you the drawing video. Uh, this is the colouring in video because normally I don't, I normally because it speed through these um, and and then people say, oh, you know, how did you do that? And and so I, I, I thought what I will do is I will do the drawing video and then I will do the colouring in video as two different things and link them with annotations uh, and, you know, little link things like that so that you can find them easily. And um, if you like this, let me know if you like this new way of doing things. Because it takes the pressure off me. Because I normally feel I gotta, I gotta paint it like mad, quickly, crazy to to get it all done. Uh, in, in you know, sort of, I don't know. I, I like to try and get things in done in around about ten minutes or something like that. Because I think I think people can't start falling asleep otherwise. Like that. Um, right now, I'm just kind of painting this in in yellow. And everybody asks me what paints do I use? So these are Winsor and Newton. Uh, Artist colours. I don't. I mean, the Winsor and Newton are very British, probably English company, and uh, I don't know if you can get them all around the world or not. But um, they, these are kind of good, good, good quality um, paints, and they come in this kind of box. I've had this box, I don't know, 30 years or something, and these are called half pans. These are the little pans, and you can get full size pans, which are the big ones. Uh, so I'm just kind of blobbing in these. Uh, little pennants along the way. I want to have a, a yellow pennant there. I'm not being very careful, really. That's one thing I like about watercolor. Watercolor, you can either, you can have a smaller brush and be really precise. And maybe I'll do some things like that. I'll show you how you can be very precise with a brush, or you can um, yeah, be very sloppy and you know. The big brush. Oh, there's my wife phoning me. I'll be back in a second. Oh, well, that's given me the opportunity to uh, dry that. Anyway, which usually takes a while. So I've used my uh, hair dryer, which you see me use quite often. Uh, now, I kind of feel I should have perhaps done the sky up before now. So I'm just getting a little bit of blue. And I'm just going to kind of wash that in the background kind of up to there and then I'm just going to add water okay here which will just so that you kind of got because you'll have kind of clouds up there and that kind of will give you a blue sky in the background I suppose if I was if I had time and I was doing an illustration in a book or something then I'd have possibly have you know a background with trees or a city or something in the background uh, right, clean water and just kind of drop it in on the top and then that kind of just kind of washes up there like that. Good. Uh, get my hair dry. I no, no idea how long my first, first section of film was. So I have no idea how long this whole program is going to be now. But anyway, I'll just carry on. Uh, just make sure the blue around the tent is kind of dry, isn't it? It's still wet up there, but that's not a problem to me. Right, now this is going to be a yellow and red tent. So I'm, I'm kind of mixing up my vermilion here, but I'll add a little bit of yellow because the vermilion is too, too red. And then little, I think it's carmine I'm adding in there. Okay, and then I'll just kind of fill in these bits as well. And, and I can't remember what I said. Either. No, it wasn't my wife phoning, it was my son. Because I'm out in my shed in the studio, he's in the garden, and he's phoning. He's going to come along and interrupt me any moment now, I know it. Um, he wants my computer speakers for the evening. He's got his friends coming around. Okay, uh, <laughs> do I sound happy? And it, no, yeah, that's fine. So. Uh, as long as I get my speakers back. And where are we now? Yeah, we'll just do this bit. So let's put in all these stripes. And um, 
the stripes in up there. So at the moment it's just kind of a lot of red and yellow stripes and we have to kind of differentiate them. And by adding a bit of kind of shading and modelling in on the top. Here he comes. I'll just stop for a moment. <laughs> you just never know where it is. Saturday afternoon. What time is it? It's about quarter past six. I thought I'd get a little bit of peace and quiet actually. But nope. So how are we doing? So I'll just pop these in. I'll just kind of flick a bit of colour into those. Like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. So if you've watched the previous video, you'll know that I've just kind of finished my next up voting campaign. And to tell you the truth, I'm absolutely exhausted. <laughs> I've just been at it all week. I haven't done any work at all. Which I really should have done. Well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. If I win, then I'll be glad that I didn't. Okay, now I'm going to darken up some red. Get some darker red. So I'm using just sort of calming on here. And what I'm going to do is, in the kind of darker place, I'll just put that there. Where I'm going to want it to be darker. And I'll certainly want it kind of darker under there maybe kind of on the top of that just coming down there uh, and this is kind of a shadow underneath the thing I'll just put a little bit in on the side there and then these can be darker on this side uh, like that and that will give it a let me just put a little bit of extra kind of it's kind of modeling isn't it uh, now so then what I really need now is a kind of a darker orangey yellow also to fit in there oh that's probably too dark isn't it it's too orangey for crows it used to be an advert what was that Kiora Kiora orange juice would you? probably never heard of where's my paper I need my oh what's this stuff called kitchen towel that's just too dark so I don't like it so I'll just dab that off it's just too orange. It used to be a little boy going along singing. And the crows would be saying, Give us a yell, Kiara. And he'd say, Kiara is too orangey for crows. And I can't remember what happened. Look, maybe the crows drank it and fell over dead or something. I don't know. <laughs> a long time ago. What am I going on about? Um, right, I might put, put a little bit kind of here so it kind of gives a bit of modelling for the the kind of shape of the curve of the roof as it were and maybe a little bit at the bottom here like that just to, and maybe just gonna give it a bit of something isn't it right uh, I'm gonna want something like that and a bit of red around it too like that it's kind of looking right uh, green, we're probably going to want some grass. What's the time? Oh my goodness, I haven't, I have no idea how long this video is now. <laughs> but anyway, let's carry on. So, uh, I'm just mixing up. So, I have no idea what green that is. It's probably, it's not Windsor Green, no. I put a bit of yellow with it. Uh, you kind of have to, you kind of learn to mix up shades. I think mixed shades are much better than just sort of straight shop bought colours. I mean, you know, if I just use the colours straight as they come out, out of the pan, then it's just a bit unsubtle, really. I don't know why. <laughs> it's so much better if you can mix your shades. And then also, then they you kind of eventually start mixing your shades and they become your kind of style, and kind of recognisable shades. Right, let me just dry this. I'm just going to drop a bit in there, just a little bit of modelling on that flag. And I think all that's really needed is kind of it, it to fill in this bit, because that, that would kind of bring it alive a bit, I think. And get this dry, dry, dry. If you haven't got a hair dryer, it doesn't matter, you just have to kind of let them, let them wait, it, wait for it to dry. But when you're doing watercolour, you kind of need to have. Um, 
if you you know if you put one color on top of another color while it's dry then it's going to bleed all over the place and so which which is a really good effect sometimes you want to do that like i was doing the wet bits up here so watercolor you can do with a really really wet or you can do it in a really kind of dryish kind of way um and these are all kind of techniques that you're going to learn you just have to practice and play with really uh, I think seeing other people do it is interesting, but there is nothing quite like just having a go yourself. And you know, if it goes wrong, it doesn't matter. You're going to learn something from it. Right, I'm now going to put in kind of proper bit of sun, like this is the sun, making shade down there, and that will be coming there. So, so the sun's kind of pointing down this way. And what else can I do? That's that's probably about it, isn't it? Um, a little bit more green onto here, and I'll just put some kind of. That's too unsubtle. It's because I'm, I'm I'm just using the one large brush. I, th I think if I was doing this as a job, I, I, well, I know I would have changed the size of the brush. <laughs> uh, it's all going wrong now. Hang on, I don't like that at all. So I'm just going to kind of wash it all back in like that, and then I'm going to. Get my hair dryer again. I need to get this grass dry very quickly. <laughs> and then what I do, this, this is just my style, this is what I do. You don't have to do it this way or anything like that. Uh, what have I got? I've got my green. I'm just going to get some greens and things like that. So these are my. These are Caran Dash Prismolo 2 pencils that I've had for a very long time. I've had this set since I was at Art College, so these are probably 20 years old, but of course I kind of replaced the pencils every now and then. And, and I would just use these. So these are actually watercolour pencils. Maybe I'll do a thing on these. One day. I don't really use them as watercolour pencils, um, but I just like them because they're really quite soft. And also, if I make a mistake, then I can kind of wash the colour away. That's kind of what I like about it. Um, so I would just use these for just a bit of kind of texture like that, and maybe then I can use this as just slightly darker like that. I wonder if I've got yeah. I'll just use something kind of a little bit darker like that just to shade in that kind of area like that uh, like that and just to show you that it's it's a watercolor crayon then I'll just see I can just sort of shade and wash wash that in like that there we go might make that slightly darker there here we go how to draw how to paint a circus tent we've done the drawing already haven't we and maybe put some little birds in the background a bit of on the pennants, maybe we can just put a bit more shading in there, like that. and some bit of kind of in there. There we go. How to draw? How no? Sorry. How to paint a circus tent? Okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you can do any colours you like, and you can do flowers, spots, stripes, anything you like instead. Anyway, but that's how I do it. I hope you learned something from that. And if you enjoyed that, keep coming back to the Shoe Render Drawing Channel on YouTube. And uh, in the meantime, draw, 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 practice, 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 <laughs> and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.